Hi everyone, so today I wanted to film my um, wet hair care routine and um, I am very excited. My hair is kind of falling out all over the place. Um, I'm very excited to make this video because um, I've been wanting to film it for a while and so I just decided I'd film it now since my hair is wet and um, on my other channel I used to do hair vlogs showing my hair growth each month and so I'm going to start that back up and I'm going to do one for January so yeah um, I'll have that up it'll probably actually be posted in the first week of February so but it'll be counting for January because I'll film it in January which um, there's like a few days left in um, January but um, anyways uh, the brushes that I use this one my sister has her hair in like rush. Ew. Sick. Or maybe it's my hair. I really don't know. Um, ew. Anyways, this one I don't really know what brand it is, but it's just a kind of like white tooth comb, I guess. And then this one's by Jill Brie de Paris. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, the products that I use on my hair. It's like, oh my gosh, guys. Like, okay, I'm just gonna like pause for a minute. My bangs so annoying. Like, I seriously want to, like, get them recut again just so that when they're drying, they won't do this. Like, they start to dry and then they just go like that. And then I'm just like, I'm not going to keep them like this because I don't like that. But if I keep them like this, then they just, like, creep down eventually. It's just so annoying. It's like, and then if I take them behind my ear, then my hair gets like a weird wave. It's like, there's no winning. But, um, oh yeah, guys, I did dye my hair. You can't tell because it's wet. But um, when it's dry, it's kind of a reddish brown. You can especially see it when my hair is pulled back in a ponytail. But, um, anyways, the products that I use on my hair. Um, let me just show you my hair length. It's getting pretty long, guys. I'll put a link down to, um, my, um, first hair vlog that I did, which was it was April of last year, and my hair has grown quite a bit since then, so I'll put a link to that. Uh, anyways, the products I use, and this is kind of in the order that I use them. The first thing that I do is I use my Bedhead um, TG Ego Boost Split and Mender Leave-In Conditioner. And I think that it is just so important to have a deep conditioner in the shower, which I use Aussie, but also one that you can use on wet or dry hair when you're done in the shower. And I just like to get about that much, which you can't even see because it's like visible, but um, I just spread it all over my hands, avoid the root area, just because, you know, you don't want to, I usually try to avoid my root area when I'm doing hair products because it can make your hair look greasy, and you don't want that, especially if you just washed your hair, that would be so annoying, like just washing your hair and then your hair dries and it looks dirty again, it's like what a pain. Okay, and um, my bangs are still bothering me. I don't know if any of you have this problem, but um, it is like one of my biggest pet peeves, as you can tell. Um, so the next thing that I use is um, my Garnier Fruity Style Wonder Wave Wave Enhancing Spray, and um, this is a very light, light hold. It's not a gel. Um, it's literally a spray. It's flexible hold because I don't like my hair to be like crunchy. Yellow. Sometimes it gets crunchy, but I don't really care. So um, this is just to enhance waves. And my hair, the longer it gets, the less wavy it gets. But um, when my when I had my hair shorter, it was very wavy and wonderful. And um, now that I'm growing it out, it's getting straighter. And you know, it's kind of sad because I liked my wavy hair. Um, so I'm just gonna put my head upside down. And I'm just going to spray this. And then I'm just going to kind of scrunch my hair lightly. And I might just put in about four or five sprays. You know, don't want to be too generous, but you don't want to not add enough hair product. And um, I don't know about you guys, 
But the underneath of my hair always dries the fastest, so like underneath my hair is already like completely dry. And then um, after that, I just like to comb out the top, just so that there's no tangles. And um, I don't use all of these products every single day. I kind of switch off. So this is basically what I do every time after I shower currently for like 2013. And um, then if I want to go for, oh, and then I just forgot. I also have this Garnier Fructis Brilliant Brilliantine Shine Cream Gel. And this is the long lasting shine and hold extra strong. And then I just do the same. <laughs> and um, I always keep a towel near me so I can wipe my hands off in case I get too much. And then I just put my head. Um, this hair is already dry. I don't even know if I'm in like the camera frame. I'm hoping. But um. Always avoid the root area. Is my tip to anyone who cares. And then um, after that, then I just slightly comb it out and um, get my towel. Just so my hair can dry faster. And um, two to three times a week, I blow dry my hair with my Remington blow dryer and I use my Tresma heat protectant and then I use my um, bed head split end mender. And then when I'm letting it air dry, then I just like to rub it between the towel gently just to kind of help it dry faster. And then um, other products that I use, which I'm not going to use in this video, I'm just going to show you. I'll do a separate tutorial on how to scrunch um, straight hair. Because mine is kind of wavy, kind of straight, it kind of depends on the day. Um, I like using my Suave Max Hold Mousse. And um, I also love using my Vital Care Volume and Luster Shining Gel. And... Um, I like this because it's not tested on animals. Like, if you guys know me, I do not like it when products test on animals. I don't care what the product is, how amazing it is, but they test on animals. It's like, I am not buying that. Anyways, good thing we cleared that up. So, uh, and then the last thing I use, this is what I usually use um, when I'm done straightening my hair. Uh, I just put this on my end, and then I also have a bed head shine spray. But, um, anyways, so I'll just kind of re show you guys what I use on a daily basis if I am just not blow drying my hair or um, you know when I'm scrunching my hair I'll do a separate video on that so sorry this video was kind of long but um, I hope you enjoyed it anyways uh, I really love Garnier Fructis hair products so I recommend this to anyone and um, my hair is getting so much longer it is so nice because uh, this is the longest my hair has been in about six years. So, it's exciting. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up if you like um, hair videos. If you want more hair tutorials, you know, I'll go ahead and do those for you guys. And um, subscribe if you want to. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.